Douglas with VMworld TV. I'm here with Kit Colbert, a performance engineer at VMware. Um, Kit, so you just presented at one of our group discussions. Yeah. And uh, I caught some of the people leaving the room, mm -hmm. and uh, the feedback so far has been really good. People seem interested in uh, your session. Uh, what do you think about this format? I actually really like the format. Uh, it was really nice to have everyone here, and it's nice to not only be able to share my thoughts and what I've been thinking, but also to get feedback from them and for them to share all their experiences. I think it's really nice just to have them start talking to each other and share their best practices and all those sorts of things. I think it's really useful. It's one of the great things about VMworld is getting to meet other people and getting to share your experiences and to learn from it. So, so I agree, the, the format seems absolutely perfect to me. Mm -hmm. um, one question though, memory? Like <laughs> a topic on memory? And, and the room was full. I know, it's <laughs> packed, yeah, it was weird. Well, you know, I've been just getting into the sort of performance focus in the last year or so. And one thing that I've learned is that a lot of these things that we might take for granted, like memory and CPU, are actually much, much more complicated than you would ever think. And even in our own products, I've sort of noticed some things that we don't do very well. And, and so that's mainly why I started doing first my talk and now this group discussion is because I kept hearing the same questions from people over and over again. So yeah, it's a problem that a lot of people have. It's not very well understood. I don't think we've ever sufficiently described it such that you know people can know what to do. So that's why I start focusing on memory. What were people most interested in? <laughs> so a lot of people are wondering how to know when the, their host was overcommitted on memory, when they had put too many VMs on in terms of memory. How to know how to size your VM, um, or what stats to look at, what stats are important, uh, how to do monitoring, uh, what sort of best practices in terms of, again, numbers of VMs per host, and how to do reservations for VMs, and do you res use resource pools, and these sorts of things. So I think it's, it runs the gambit of different issues. What are some of the best practices uh, that you suggested to them? Well, there's a bunch of different best practices. Um, I won't get into all the details here, but what I tried to do is, instead of just listing out a couple of things that, to have them do in their environment, I took a step back and actually went over some of the concepts and some of the background knowledge that they need to reason about how to do different things in their environment, how to size VM memory, how to size the reservations, how many VMs can fit on a host. And the thing is that each customer will have different priorities and different levels of comfort um, with these things, how much they can overcommit memory and such things. So really it was like, the way I think of it is teaching someone to fish rather than catching a fish for them. My hope is that I could give them these concepts tell them a little bit about some specifics and then let them run with it, let them make their own decisions going forward. Well, it seems like the perfect format for that. Is it safe to say you'll be signing up for group discussions again next year? Definitely, it was a lot of fun. Great, well, thanks a lot and have a safe trip back. Thank you. Hi, Darrow, what'd you think of the group discussions? Yeah, I thought the group discussions were very good. It was, a, it was an excellent uh, forum for, for, for discussion and getting closer to you know, the people who really know their stuff about, uh, about the, the memory concepts as we had. Uh, here in this particular discussion, so I thought it was really good. I, I very much like the technical part of this, that, that we're discussing uh, about uh, the, the bits and bytes, and not and, and no, no marketing, just, uh, just the technical stuff. And uh, this forum is perfect for that, I think. I think it works pretty good. Uh, I like the interactive, uh, and I like the, the small audience, and, and, and you can really ask some questions to the engineers who you know a lot of, about the product. Uh, so. Uh, I want to go use the group discussion next year as well.